Well, hey everyone, welcome into the channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the new Erin Condren Monthly Planner. Yes, it's launch time again for the monthly planners. Now, these monthly planners are suitable for those who don't necessarily need a weekly planner, but just a monthly calendar and note pages. In addition to sharing the inside of this, I'm also going to be sharing with you um, a few ways that you can use this planner for different purposes. So if you're interested in seeing that, stay tuned. Before we begin, I'd like to say a special thank you to the folks over at Erin Condren for giving me the opportunity to share this layout with you. This layout is going to be great for someone who does not necessarily need the weekly planning layout, but just need a monthly calendar and some note pages. I'm also going to be sharing with you, as I stated earlier, a way that you can use this planner that I think is very, very appropriate and I think you might enjoy it. We will start out with the interchangeable covers. I absolutely love the Erin Condren line of covers because you can switch them between your life planner, your monthly planners, your notebook, those coil-based products. Most of the planner covers are interchangeable so you can remove them. And then snap on the ones that you like to use. Isn't that beautiful? This cover is the Magnolia cover. You can change the colorway or the color that is behind this to any of the Flora colorway colors. So be aware of that when you're ordering your planner cover. Most of these interchangeable covers are $8, but if you choose to get a metallic option, it's going to be about $13. You can also choose your coil colors, gold, black, rose gold, and the platinum, which is basically a silver color. So whichever you think looks best with your planner, your planner cover that you're gonna be using. This coil upgrade is an additional $10, so be aware of that as well. As you open the monthly planner, you will notice that there's something not in here that is in the life planners. For those that are new to Erin Condren, the life planners come with a vellum page while the monthly planners do not. So be aware of that. As you can tell, I am sharing with you the Flora Planner, y'all. Turning the page, you have your 2021, 2022 years at a glance. It does start in July 2020 to December 2021. This layout is very minimalistic and I love it because you can feel free to decorate this anyhow you desire. You do have these 12 boxes to do as you wish and I'm excited to see how everyone in the planner community will use these box for the upcoming year. There is a note page that you'll have aligned before the beginning of your month. And each month, y'all, has a different flower on it. And it has the name of the flower as well as what it signifies. The monthly layout is also very light and airy. It does have the flora design on the top of the pages a beautiful, beautiful script and a neutral palette when it comes to your monthly boxes. After your monthly calendar, you will have these productivity pages. Now I do love these productivity pages. Sometimes you may use them, sometimes you may not. I do use this for a specific purpose and um, I share that in a video that I will link at the end of this video for you to watch if you're interested. The unique thing about this planner is that after your productivity pages, you have note pages. 
So this is absolutely perfect for those who do not need to have a weekly uh, or an hourly or a daily type of layout. They just want some note pages for whatever reason they're going to be using this planner for. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight note pages. You also have the one note page on the back that goes with the next month or you can choose to put it with the current or previous month. I'm going to be sharing with you how I'm going to be using these pages, y'all. I'm going to be sharing with you how I'm going to be using every section of this planner. However, I'm not going to do it all in one video. I'm going to share the first idea of how you can use a monthly planner for non-monthly planning <laughs> for those who don't necessarily need it for a month by month basis, but just there are some things that you could use it to plan out and keep it as reference. And so I'm going to share those ideas with you. So stay tuned for each week. I will share one idea. My goal is to get 12 of them for you. I will be using the current layers design monthly because this monthly I'm going to be using to Franken plan with my upcoming quarter. And so I don't want to mess up these pages, y'all. We're not trying to mess these pages up because I'm going to be using them. So June ends this particular planner and it ends the same way it begins with your monthly calendar, your productivity pages, and your note section. In the back of the planner, you will get your 2023 at a glance that you can do a little bit of pre-planning for, as well as some stickers that matches the color palette of the planner. You get two pages of sticker and you get a beautiful folder, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. Um, you will notice that the tabs are, are also matching the color palette. That is so pretty, y'all. It is just absolutely gorgeous. This monthly planner this year is going to be coming in a undated format. What? Say it ain't so, Tamara. But yes, it is. You will be getting this in an undated format this year. Um, as well as you can choose your different designs. Like I said, you can choose your flora. You can choose your um, MCC design as well. Now, there's also going to be a focused collection monthly planner and I believe a 8 by 11 monthly planner. EC is coming this year, coming for us this year. And so I'm excited about the undated and also the focus collection uh, monthly planner. So I can't wait to see those. Now there are a few accessory items that will be available that you can also purchase. One of the accessory item is going to be the Planny Pack. As y'all know, I love Planny Packs. And so I would definitely use a Planny Pack with my monthly planner to put all of my current pens, etc., inside of it that I am using, even my planning tools that I need so I can have them together in one spot, in one place, so I know where they are. So great use for the planning packs. You will also find some sticky notes available on the website to order. These sticky notes will snap into your planner for easy use. If you want to just jot something down quickly, you can do that and put it on a date to save that information. So check out the sticky notes while you are shopping. One of my favorite thing, y'all, is the lined notebooks. This one is absolutely gorgeous. It is a mid-century circle softbound notebook. It does have this metallic shimmy, 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 and I just have to show you the shimmy to it. The edging, oh, look how beautiful this is. Oh, y'all, the one of my favorite things one of my favorite things. Y'all know this already. It does come with a page marker as well. So loving the notebooks. 
you can also get a matching pen to match whatever the theme is for the year. This is a ball point pen. Um, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It is in the mid-century circle design. There's also one available in Flora, which I do not have. Uh, so um, grab that pen if you're interested. You can also get one of these snap-in um, dashboards, which I think is beautiful. This is a two-sided snap-in dashboard, and this is going to come in handy for me. I'll probably order the floral one because I am a matchy, matchy person. And so my things need to match. If I'm using the floral cover, we're going to use the floral dashboard. Um, so you have a to-do list on the side and it is actually longer than the current one that I'm using. Hold on, let me find that, which is a kaleidoscope. So it's longer than the kaleidoscope when it comes to the to-do list and um, I'll be using it to pre-plan. So I'm having the upcoming week's information right on this side while the current week is in here. So that's what I currently have. So this is going to be really good. That's going to be really good. Oh, yes. And this is already written in. Yes. So add that to your list. And the last accessory that came in my box, y'all, was this interchangeable pen kit. And this is actually a pretty interesting kit. The, I love the dual tip markers the best. The best. And especially the brand new, y'all, check this one out too while you're at it, while you're on the site. This colorful fine tip marker pack with the 24 pack with the case is my absolute favorite, favorite. Um, and so I definitely would suggest that, but this might be more of your style as well. So those are the accessories that came with the planner in my box. And now I'm going to be sharing with you how I'm going to be using the monthly planner. So here is the 2020, 2021 um, monthly planner that we are currently in. And I'm going to share with you 12 different ideas and thoughts on how you can use this monthly planner for uh, things other than regular planning out your life per se. And so the first thought that I had was to use this for scriptural encouragement let me get a little bit more specific and you can carry this idea on throughout the, the year, but I'm only going to be using one month for each idea, if you get what I'm saying, but you can use all 12 months for the same idea if you so choose to. This is the first thing that I'm going to do on the monthly calendar pages. I'm not going to be using that for a real monthly plan. So what I will do on here is write in the scripture that goes with the weekly memory verse for our church's lesson study. So, you know, there's 52 weeks in the year, so there's going to be about 52 of them. I'm going to use every single spot on here. It's not going to get me to 52, but I'm going to use every single spot on here to be able to do that. So I'm probably going to write 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, about 36 of them. I'll get in on here. Now I would write that throughout the entire month for every single week. So the first one is Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18 that says, Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool. So that's what I would use this whole section for is to just tell me the scripture and give me the gist so it can jog my memory as to what I've read in there. For me, writing down just the scripture alone on here mm, without the hint, it doesn't do anything much for me. So this is how I would use the monthly calendar. Now these productivity pages, you can use for so many things 
What I plan on doing with this section is basically what I call purge. <laughs> it's purge. When you're doing the power sheets, um, cultivate what matters, it's it, there's a question that says, what's weighing on your heart, right? So that's what I would write in this section. And then you can write the things that are weighing on your heart as the month goes through. Whether it's, you know, people that you need to pray for and it's, it's, a, it's burdening you, whatever it might be, you can write that out here. On these pages right here, what I would use this for is going to be, what is my personal prayer for the month? And then a lot of times, I, I don't think we pay enough attention to our personal prayer for the month. What are we praying for? Uh, what change do we want to have inside of us, right? What am I praying for this month? What clarity do I want for this month? And so what I would use these other spaces for when my prayer is answered, how did God answer my prayers? Because God answers our prayers in so many different ways that we don't pay attention to. And so I would want to be able to put the evidence down as to how my prayers were answered. So that's how I would use these two productivity pages when it comes to scripture and motivation for the month. Up next is the note pages. Pages, I'm going to be using this for my scriptural inspiration. Just scriptures that are my favorite, scriptures that really speak to me and are impactful for me on my life. I've written two, but of course, I'll write more um, here. And I have two. The two I have is Jeremiah 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. I also have Micah 6 verse 8 and it says, O man, he has told you what is good. What does the Lord ask of you but to do what is fair and to love kindness and to walk without pride with your God. Ah, oh, ah, oh, y'all, such a simple thing is being asked of us as well. And so I want to make sure I write down the things that's going to bring back to my remembrance. Yo, check your attitude, Tamara. Check your attitude. And so this is going to be for me when I need that pick me up, when I need to be ministered to. All of that, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to make sure I'm taking a look at the scriptures and that I've read for the month and just giving praise and glory to God for answering my prayers and writing down and getting out what's on my heart because we just keep too much burdens, right? God said to come to him and to bring it to him. So we're bringing it to him in here. And we're now claiming his promises, his word that is impactful to us we're doing in this. So this is how I am using this section in this particular monthly planner. I'm going to be bringing you way number two next week, Thursday. So stay tuned for that. In addition to way number two next week, Thursday, I am going to be sharing with you what I will be doing with these boxes which is something pretty simple. <laughs> so I'm going to be sharing um, those ways here. I will see you all on that video. Please remember, if you're going to be purchasing any of the items from Erin Condren, 
be sure to use my affiliate link. It costs you nothing extra to do that. Well, maybe a couple seconds. <laughs> and I will see you all on the morning tea on this channel, Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. ish, ish, until we get tired. <sighs> but from eight to nine um, for some more planner talk and some inspiration, y'all. Toodaloo! This is a ball part. This is a ball. This is a.